Hello, it's Sarah Franklin. Welcome to my latest sketchbook tour. Sorry for the noise. Um, I'm filming right by my window and there's like a big fan out there. You can just, you can just barely see it. Um, so that's gonna be making noise throughout this, but um, I wanted to get some natural light. So that's why we're filming here. So I just wanted to say again, thank you for the response to my last sketchbook tour and thank you to the response for, to my um, animations. It's just getting the feedback and hearing just all the wonderful things y'all have to say means literally so much to me and like has inspired me to keep doing this more. I promise my next sketchbook, I, I know I said this last time, but I promise my next sketchbook tour will come out sooner. I'm almost finished with that sketchbook. So I want to film it like, shortly after my next sketchbook's done, so. Um, but here is this one. Anyways, I wanna have a brief content warning. This sketchbook does include blood, some gore, some just weird imagery. So if that's not really your thing, I would recommend not watching this video. That's kind of my whole vibe as, <laughs> as an artist though. So um, I hope you will stick around. Uh, nothing too crazy, but yeah, I don't know. Now I know you might be thinking if you saw my last sketchbook tour, Sarah, this looks exactly like your last sketchbook. Well, let me tell you. So when I make my own sketchbooks, I get about a yard of fabric and that makes me about, is it a yard? I, I think I get like half a yard, but that usually makes me two uh, sketchbook covers worth of book cloth. So that's why I'll have like two books back to back that look identical because I just use the same book cloth. But sketchbook details are still the same. It's like five by eight inches. It's a hand bound uh, Coptic stitch method sketchbook with a fabric cover. The paper inside is Canson XL Mixed Media. And yeah, so let's get right into it. Sorry, there's gonna be a little bit of glare, but I'm gonna try and combat as much as that as I can. Um, here's my little intro page. We've got some cutouts from a Legend of Zelda calendar I had one year, um, a sticker my brother gave me, my voted sticker because I voted and you should vote too, um, some Kirby stickers, I forget what this Pokemon's called but it's a Pokemon, um, and then my little if found please return to card along with my starting and finish date. So I started the sketchbook on the 10th of May, 2022, and finished it on the uh, 16th of November, 2022. So this is basically from the start of summer after I finished my first year of college through most of the second, or my first semester of my second year of school. So that's what a lot of this stuff is. It's stuff I drew over the summer and then a lot of concept stuff from school. All right, first page, we've got some more cutouts. This is from a little leaflet from school. Um, and then these are, again, from that Legend of Zelda calendar. I really need to play Breath of the Wild. I just have not gotten to it. I got stuck playing Earthbound for seven months. So yeah, um, here is uh, just a page of ballpoint pen studies. Again, you can see the Gotham motifs carrying over, I know. I know it's a good, it's an Amy Winehouse song, promise. I listen to Amy Winehouse all the fucking time. Um, but this lyric from that scene, oh, it gets me every time. It just gets me. It's a really good lyric. Uh, some Micron stuff. This is like an 01 brown Micron. So I drew a little Furby. Um, this little guy, because I was, I was going through some stuff. Just some general characters and a couple furries. Um, Everybody tells me I need to draw with Micron more, and I have been. One of the things I've been working on in my latest sketchbook. Um, here's some more ballpoint pen stuff. Uh, that's kind of a grody looking page, but it's whatever. This is one of my favorite spreads, let me tell you. I just, the colors and the characters and the expressiveness of it, I just love it so much. I think either together or separate, this wouldn't be a really fun print. Um, I think a, a lot of the spreads from this sketchbook I want to make into prints. I just love them a lot. So this was from like right after school ended. I think school ended on the 15th of May um, in two, uh, 2022. And so when the school ends, I like to go like a school or a semester or just something like big happens. Um, I like to go out and get myself a nice dinner. So this is from uh, Screen Door in Portland. Uh, they sat me at the bar and then we're like, can we see your ID? And I was like, I'm not 21. Um, and so I just 
looked at the glasses above the bar from my little two top in the corner. So yeah, um, again, Micron. Um, we've got a coffee pot from Fuller's. I'm so sad because Fuller's had a fire and they've been closed for a couple months. As soon as they reopen though, I'm getting my ass down there and getting myself some French toast because, oh my God, it is so good. Here's a little self portrait. I got a mullet. Um, I was so happy. I think I drew this right after I got my hair cut because I got a like pre-summer haircut because I wasn't going to be able to see my hairstylist for a few months. Um, so I got like this very boyish mullet and I've been getting it done ever since the same way because I just, I love it so much and I just feel so much more like myself with it. Then here we've got the backbone of Gotham, my favorite characters. We've got uh, Anthony Kerrigan as Victor Zaz, Michael Corey Smith as the Riddler, and then we've got Robin Lord Taylor as the Penguin. These guys are all great actors, genuinely. I'm not just like saying that because I love their roles in Gotham. Anthony Kerrigan is amazing in Barry. Michael Corey Smith is great in Transatlantic, and he's also amazing in the movie 1985. That movie made me sob like a baby. Um, I've seen clips of Robin Lord Taylor in um, this movie called Dress Rehearsal, um, and uh, it's so fun. There's a TikTok. There's a TikTok with him in it. And it's just so good. It looks like it's from Succession, but it's not. It's just Robin Lord Taylor in um, Dress Rehearsal. Here's some OC doodles. Um, this I was gonna do like a 48 hour film as soon as school got out. I did not end up doing that because, oh my God. Um, I just, things got away from me with packing and moving and just all of that. Um, and jump scare, another weird self portrait. Um, but yeah, here here's some more Posca stuff. Um, I probably mentioned this before that the red, yellow, and the blue is like one of my favorite color combos. Is this screaming a little bit caca, American, like, uh, my pronouns are USA? Yeah, but deal with it, deal with it, deal with it. I love this spread and I don't care. <laughs> so this is the first spread I did after I moved back in with my parents. I was like kind of down in the dumps, so I was like, why not do some Pinterest studies of things that I love? And that is birds and fish. So we've got these pigeons. I'm a huge fan of pigeons. I've got a pigeon tattoo. A friend of mine for my birthday this year gave me a bag of bird seeds so I could go feed the pigeons. I just, they're great. And they're all over Portland. Um, I live right by like a little metro station and there's a bunch of them there. So I gotta go say hi to them sometime. Uh, we got a salmon. I think this is, uh, I want to say it's a Chinook or, or a Coho, but they turn like this really crazy like red and green when they go to spawn. It's insane and I love how they look. And then we have a macaw. This, another one I want to turn into a print um, because like it, I don't know how. I was like, what was I on when I was drawing this? Because it turned out so well. Um, I don't know. I was like watching, I think I was watching Barbara Westchester when I drew this because like, if you haven't seen Barbara Westchester, go go watch it. Joni Phillips is amazing, and if you know, you know. But yeah, I just love this little guy. So this was like my after birthday, down in the dumps, trying to cheer myself up spread with some birds. <laughs> some more OC doodles. Oh no, a little blood, sorry. <laughs> uh, this guy was, again, from that 48 hour film idea I had, but that never got made. Um, that film idea was just about like going to like a religious school and trying to cope with like how that changes the view of yourself and your relationships and your relationship to the outside world as like a queer person. And you know, I hope to make this film someday. Um, I don't know when I'll get to it, but I will at some point, I think. Here's a cutout from a pamphlet that I stole from school that I taped in here. So this spread would make a little more thematic sense. Um, I don't know why Chris is in here. I drew, I think I drew a grid because I was going to do pixel art and then I gave up. And so I just drew Chris in here instead. Um, it turned out pretty well. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to say. Um, he's just in here now. Um, and he's a little guy. Am I using the right pronouns for Chris? Chris in my head canon uses all pronouns. All the pronouns. Um, uh, a non-binary non icon. 
okay let me let me rotate this so y'all can get a better better look at it um here is a page of like character designs that i did um so we've got uh this lady in a pinstripe suit because i love pinstripe suits and i've wanted one for so long but i've never had the money to get a three-piece suit um and then we got like a little bellhop this punk rock girl and then this lady in our Birkenstocks because or platform sandals I don't know um but yeah they're vibing and then on the opposite side here we've got just generic sad people because what would my sketchbook be without some generic sad people and then some car seat head wrist lyrics because that is also a staple of my sketchbooks you know, how do you guys think I ended up in the 0 0.005 top percent of Carsey and Headrest listeners last year? It's because I'm an insufferable person and I listen to them all the time. <laughs> okay, some Pinterest studies. Oh God, the glare. Um, we've got this one of Zoe Kravitz um, in the corner because I love her. Um, and then this one in the bottom, the one in the right corner, I love so much. I love how it turned out, but I like how that page turned out. Uh, I don't know. I don't do a lot of graphite studies anymore, but I think they've turned out pretty well. Um, and then we've got this one. So this is the first time I did like a actual portrait study in Posca pens. This is like mixed media. So it's Posca pen and colored pencil. But this is of the Riddler in that one scene from Gotham. Like if you know, you know, I'm totally a normal person. I'm not a freak at all whatsoever, guys, please. Um, <laughs> But this was my first real go at doing a portrait in Posca pens, and I think it turned out all right. His face is a little fucked. We're gonna agree to accept that, to live with that. But I, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Just uh, more Pinterest studies, but like trying to translate Pinterest studies into my cartoon kind of style. Um, and then, I don't know, just some practicing people. Um, this is Tombow and ballpoint pen, and then these guys are in brush pen. Here's some Sally Face stuff. So I played Sally Face like way back in like 2018 on my ex-boyfriend's really bad, shitty laptop that struggled to even run the game. Um, but I started playing it this summer and I got like halfway through it. I was like trying to 100% it and then my Switch decided to delete all my achievements, which I was very upset about. So I gave up and then got then got sucked into playing Earthbound for like seven months. So I have not had a chance to get back to it. Here's another, oh, another self-portrait, spooky. Um, <laughs> this is a page, I don't know, scribbles. I watched uh, Love and Mercy with um, Paul Dano as Brian Wilson and oh my god I think it's one of the best biopics I've ever seen in my entire life like it's really hard to do a bi good biopic but that was a good biopic so I had to draw him I had to draw him as Brian Wilson because I might have related to the issues a little too much for my own good but we're gonna ignore that colored pencil so one thing about drawing with colored pencil is you <sighs> Usually it just smears all over the place. So I'm like always like, I don't want to do colored pencil stuff because it's just going to get everywhere. But I find that I only have that issue with my black colored pencil. Like look at how well this blue one is hold held up. I have not put any fixative, any sealant on it. It's just like sticking there. It is not going nowhere. It's not smudging or smearing or anything. Um, but yeah, every time people see my colored pencil stuff in my sketchbook, they're always like, Sarah, draw more colored pencil stuff. And I'm like, I will. So I've made a promise to myself to do more colored pencil stuff. But this is just a page full of guys. We've got this guy here. I love his shoes. Like he's just such a grimy guy. And then this guy, uh, I don't know. They're all just my guys. And this lady with, with some scars because I think scar tissue is so beautiful as somebody with a lot of like scars and like from injuries that I've gotten as a kid and then as I've grown up I work at a bakery kind of sandwich shop now so I get burned a lot um I just find scar tissue to be really beautiful and I don't know I don't know it is an underrepresented thing in drawings and in illustrations so yeah Oh, so here's something I drew. I was angsty at the beach, so I, I drew this. Um, this was a study, basically. It took me like five minutes with a brush pen. Just trying to like map out the area and 
I don't know, I think it turned out all right. Um, and then some character stuff. The girls are fighting. I don't know why they're fighting, but they're fighting. Um, and then this tape I taped in here. This is from a record I ordered. I ordered, if you know the band Roar, they did the Christmas Kids song, but I've listened to them since like 2013. So when I saw they had like a seven inch single for sale, I was like, that is mine. I have a bunch of Roar, Roar albums on vinyl. Um, I love them, but the single, oh, it's so good. Um, but yeah. Me again being angsty at the beach. I like literally, I went to the beach. I was gone for like two hours and my fam when I got back, my family didn't even know I left. So I was emo that day, um, but I drew my shoes. These poor guys are like, the soul is falling apart. So I'm gonna have to get some new shoes. They have served me well though. And then we've got some blackberries. Um, one thing about growing up in Washington is that like, there's blackberries literally everywhere. It's like a core memory of mine, like walking along the side of the road and like watching the blackberry blossoms bloom. Just so beautiful. I really want to get some tattooed. And then we have this page, some fun character stuff. We got this little sailor guy, girl doing uh, girls wrongs, but I support women's wrongs. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, here I got back on my Batman bullshit. Like, it I took a break for like three weeks and then I listened to, um, uh, what's the podcast name? Uh, I started listening to Batman Unburied. Batman Unburied, that is the podcast name with Hassan Minaj as the Riddler. He's so good as the Riddler. L cast him in a movie as the Riddler because he's just so good at it. Um, so this is like my Hassan Minaj Riddler idea. Um, and then my like female Riddler idea because she should be a weird girl. Um, I think we underestimate the cultural significance of weird girls. Um, they are the backbone of our society and anybody who says otherwise is wrong. So yeah. And then we've got some, uh, some Cobblepot, some Oswald. I think we should make Oswald a butch woman. She, Oswald Cobblepot really gives me butch woman energy and I, I need to see it in a piece of media. DC, if you're watching this, please let me make a comic. Let me make a show. Let me make like a 10 minute even animated thing where where um, Oswald Cobblepot can be a butch lesbian like she deserves to be. So here's my attempt at drawing a Sona. Um, she's kind of like a little werewolf furry girl um, because I... Uh, I can't deny it anymore. I am a furry, guys. It's it's just what's happening. Um, but this is some stuff I drew like after work one day because I don't know why I'm allowed to work in retail because when I have to do customer service stuff, I'm always like, I just, it's not, it's not, I'm good at it. I can do it, but is it great for my mental health? No. Oh no, oh no, it's naked women. YouTube, please, please, it's for art. Please, it's for art. Um, <laughs> don't get me in trouble. Um, no, we have a naked woman and some fish because I like naked women and fish. What can I tell you? What can I tell you? Um, some more studies for this film idea I have that I will make at some point in the future. <sighs> that time is just not now. I Maybe I'll do it for my junior film or something. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I really like how these sketches turned out. Um, this one's like a study from Pinterest, and this one I just kind of pulled out of my ass. Some more kind of conceptual stuff for that film. Um, I don't really like how this turned out, but I do love how this one turned out. I think it turned out super well, and I think it would be a really fun sticker. Okay, we're rotating so you can see this. So this is a drawing I did of like Ophelia because I don't know I've been thinking about her a lot she's she's a character with a complicated history in art so I don't know I did a photography project based around the John Everett Millay's piece and kind of how it's influenced media and how men have kind of taken it and appropriated this like women's suffering while also being abusive assholes um yeah screw you um Lars von Trier um, but yeah, I really like how this illustration turned out. My mom really likes this one. Um, so this is like colored pencil, watercolor pencil, and then some like white Posca pen. So another Posca portrait study. Um, this one turned out a lot better as my la than my last one, as you can see. This one's just Posca pens, but this is again, a Pinterest image that I drew. And I think it turned out really well. I love like the blue and the green. Like this is one of my favorite color combos. But yeah, I don't know. I enjoyed it and I had a lot of fun doing it. 
Here we've got a color combination I don't usually use, which is like orange, yellow, and red. I just don't, I don't know why though, because like it looks so good. I really, it's so warm and rich. I need to work with it more. Um, yeah, I don't know. Here's some just random scribbles and doodles. Um, and then this is an idea for a comic I had and then that I actually drew. Oh my God, you guys, me finishing a piece that I drew in my sketchbook. Um, but I posted this on my Instagram and my TikTok. Um, and yeah, I don't know. I like how it turned out and I wanna do more of these like two, three, four panel comics. I think they're really fun. Um, and a really great emotional kind of cathartic experience. Um, yeah, I don't know. A lot of the pages on my sketchbook kind of look like this, like they're layered pens on top of one another and just all sorts of different stuff that I've just kind of like trying to cover mistakes, redo stuff, all, all that jazz. Okay, another comic idea. This one I kind of actually want to finish, but I have not gotten around. Some dialogue for a comic idea, some character stuff. This, okay, this is a page I taped in. Um, I, I think I was at school because I, and I didn't have like any paper, so I drew on the sheet of paper and then taped it into the sketchbook because us artists have to make do. So yeah, um, I like this lady a lot and this girl a lot and then on the back I like this guy I like his line of action I think it's really fun and then over here we've got this lady and her rad glasses like look at her glasses so good um another lady in glasses this one I really liked and it's got the fucking ghost lyric from that ghost song that went viral because of course um and then I was thinking of the country version of Motion Sickness by Free Phoebe Bridgers because that, oh, it's so good. It's so good. Phoebe Bridgers, start making country music, girl. Some more character stuff. Um, a piece of an envelope I tore out and drew on. Um, this, like, oh, that's her face from Beetlejuice looking girl. Another lady with some rad glasses. That dark blue colored pencil coming in clutch again because like it does not smear whatsoever. Like I love how well it turns out. And every time I look at this page, I'm like, I need to do colored pencil more. Speaking of a medium, I need to use more crayons. One, I love this color combination. Two, I love crayons. Three, I, I just, I love this idea of like these goopy guys trying to detach themselves. This has been a motif I've been toying with occasionally since like 2012 um but just never have gotten to really manifesting into a big piece or anything um and then we've got some girls because you know the lesbians be they be do, they be doing stuff um this is very killing eve's kind of vibe um and i really need to watch that finish watching that show because oh my god this page is also a page I love. We got some bunnies and some cat boys and this Pinterest study because there are so many Pinterest studies in here, I swear to God. And then, so like, as I've gotten into college and started living on my own, I've been seeing a lot more movies in theaters. So this is, I drew this guy after watching Nope. I don't know if that's actually, I actually meant it to be um, the uh, Jupe. Jupiter or what's his name um but it kind of looks like him um and then this guy I think that might be a version of Jonathan Crane or the Scarecrow um I watched all of the um Christopher Nolan Batman movies and they are uh they are not my favorite Batman movies but oh my god the 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 Scarecrow in those movies love him he was robbed of screen time in the dark night or in the dark night rises um because oh my god this is so good so good that and heath ledger is the joker is great heath ledger i love like he's awesome i did ugly cry for such a long time watching brookback mountain i swear to god <laughs> okay here's a fun page this is like birds and fish they're related in my mind somehow but i don't know why they just are I don't know, they just feel like the duality of animals, I guess. But so we've got a page of them and 
dodo birds. There's always going to be dodo birds in this in one of my sketchbooks because you know you make a short film called The Dodo's Lament and then you're cursed to draw dodos for the rest of your life. So yeah. <laughs> so here's a page. Uh, this I think is Faber Castells. They're kind of like the Micron pens, but they're by Faber Castell. It's got that same kind of like felt nub tip. Um, but I like them. I find they last a little longer and are a little more durable and I'm kind of really abusive to my pens. So I need stuff that'll hold up. Um, but yeah, I like this guy in his hat and his coat. Another comic idea, one that I never finished because holy shit, look at how much dialogue that is. Some character design stuff. I love this lady and her cane. My friend who was sitting next to me in class when I drew this was like, is that a sword cane? And I was like, a fucking course it is. Of course it is. It's, a, it's a sword cane. Oh my God, of course it is. Um, but yeah, this is Tom Bow, Faber-Castell again. Um, we've got some houses that are pretty fun. Um, again, more Pinterest studies. And then here, here are my girls. So I made a comic for my gothic literature class called Scavengers. And I'm currently working on re-illustrating, re-scripting, just like redoing the whole thing to make it how I actually want it to be. Um, but this was the first time I like ever drew them after I came up with the idea. So this is me just playing around with kind of like how I want them to look, how they interact with one another. They're kind of dynamic, what they've got going on. So. I believe I kept her name Gertrude. I don't remember. Um, and then this girl, which I don't remember if her name is actually Maggie or not. Um, but uh, I, I don't even remember the, how I named them. But um, she's kind of a very stoic, very cold person. But she's got this like crazy, like is the actual devil um, girlfriend or not the actual devil. She's like a demon. Um, but they're just kind of like freaks and they're freaks together and I love them for it. Here is, okay, so I had to do this project for my animation class that was like a maximum cycle thing. So you had to make like a loop animating on only like 12 frames, but like it had to be like cycle back into each other and have like multiple objects. Like it had to have four objects looping at the same time. It was insane. Um, but uh, this was me figuring out how I was going to do the stars because I did it with these stars and I was just playing with like how I want them to move and how their physics kind of works. Um, I'll, they'll probably be up in an animation reel at some point in the future. Then we've got Posca cat girl that I taped in here that I did on some index cards because gotta, gotta love some cat girls. They're great. Um, then we've got this little guy, which is like a sketch that I have sitting as a whip on my iPad that I promise I will finish someday. Um, all right, and here are my girls again. So the original plot for this comic was going to be like, she like killed her girlfriend and now she's in jail and has to like deal with it. Um, but it's like she, the girlfriend's like a demon or devil, so it didn't even really matter. So like. She's gonna be like, why are, you, why are you putting me in here? Like, we were just having a good time. Um, I decided against that though, because I wanted them to be gay and happy, and I wanted them to have a happy ending. So the culmination of their story gets to be very happy. I don't know what that's about. We're gonna ignore that. <laughs> Here's some dogs. Again, more Pinterest studies. Um, I really love, I was, Borzois, I was looking like at images of Borzoids and like all kinds of dogs. And I think they just have really fun shapes. I really didn't like this page when I drew it initially, but looking back at it, I'm like so in love because like, I love the pencil marks and just the shapes and the fluidity I got going on. It's just wonderful. More cat girls. This cat girl's got a bird. Why? I have no idea. But again, Posca's. And then we've got this dog. I love this drawing. I really want to make it like on some nice Bristol paper, like a bit bigger and like fix the anatomy because there's some weird anatomy going on here. Um, but I really love how it turned out. Again, something I want to make into a print. Again, another dodo bird. Me trying to get this sticker design off the ground because God damn, it has been like over a year and I have not made my dodo sticker. Um, then we got some dogs, some more dogs. This one's got a lot of toes. This guy's got his tail and this one's really sad. I don't know. 
some mermaids because God knows I love mermaids. I read the Spiderwork Chronicles as a kid. I got the field guide and it has forever changed how my mind works. Um, I love mermaids, especially with the super serpenty tail, like kind of medieval style. Um, I think they're super cool. I don't want mermaids with a knee joint. Don't give me that. I want my mermaids to be serpent girls. Um, so I've got some, some cute little mermaids here. Oh, this page is something. Okay, so here I had a performance piece I did in my second semester, second year, um, or first semester, second year of college. And so I used a bunch of time cards, so I have like an ungodly amount of them laying around. But let me show you guys. So there's a dog on one side and then you flip it up and there's a little guy, he's saying hi. Um, and then we've got this girl in her overalls. Blue ball playpen, also something I bought for the performance piece. I really like how these characters turned out. I think they're lots of fun. Um, this I think was a Saint Maud thing. I had watched like Saint Maud twice for a school project in like a week. So I was like on some religious saint bullshit. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I, I like it though. I think it's fun. Um, but what's really fun is when you flip this up and you get, what if, what if for one night you turned into an animal? Ignore my windowsill. This is an old building. Please just ignore it, okay? Um, but what if for one night you turned into an animal and we got some dogs? Yeah, look at them. And then we've got some lyrics from Mod Gone because what do you expect? What do you expect? What do you expect from me? There's gonna be Tarsi headless headrest lyrics literally everywhere. And some more ripped up time cards and then a sticker from a Grande Pumpkin Cream Cold Brew because they put the Grande Cream Pumpkin Cold Brew on their menu every year. I drink the shit out of that motherfucker and then they take it off and then I cry. But yeah. <laughs> um, This page I drew when I was going through some stuff, but when am I not going through stuff? You know me, I'm always struggling, but the, we're not gonna, that is stuff that should not be unpacked in a sketchbook tour. Um, I like these guys, especially this knee brace. I think I, I really want to work on drawing more medical equipment. Um, I think that's something I need to like dedicate some time to. So like knee braces, wheelchairs, um, all that kind of stuff. Because one, disability representation is important. Two, I have a fascination with hospitals because of some childhood trauma or something. I don't know. <laughs> um, I really want to make this gone fishing sign for the door of my apartment, but um, I have just never gotten around to it. Maybe I'll get like a prefabricated like door, wooden door sign from like Blick or Michaels or something and paint it. But as for now, it just sits as a hope, as a dream of something for my door that will exist at some point. Oh, this page is fun. This page is lots of fun. So this is, again, is a time card. And on one side, you've got this guy. And I love how you can see like the lines of the time card through it. Um, and then you flip it over and it's a fish oh my god it's a guy it's a guy it's a fish it's a guy it's a fish it's a guy it's a fish super cool um and then i have these guys who i love but i drew them on the front of a cotton swabs box <laughs> um I, I i don't know i don't know i just did and then i glued them in here um to cover up this which was sketches for a math project i did we had to do like periodic tiling stuff. So I did a periodic tiling with salmon because what else would you expect from me? There's gonna be fish. If I get a chance to draw fish, I'm gonna draw fish. Um, and then this page pairs really well with the next one, which is like a ballpoint pen of these guys. So we've got some like babies and some umbilical cords. I like this little guy, look at him. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. More of my OCs. So yeah, here she is in jail for her crimes. I'm glad she did not stay in jail. She gets to live a happy life with her girlfriend. Um, there was, yeah, you see here was gonna be the psychologist lady and she was gonna be like, but why did you do it? And she was just gonna be like, I don't know. She watched, we agreed to it. Like it was like a fun time, you know? Why are you putting me in jail, dude? Um, but I steered away from that. Um, so here's me kind of going more away from that. Um, she's a butcher, so she like works in like her family's butcher shop. And then we've got, you know, the, the, her girlfriend, which is, <laughs> she's, 
she's this very amorphous character but i had to pair her with this quote that it's like funny in the, that you think you're gonna defeat me with the power of friendship and all but i am the devil the devil i am the devil from the bible because that's what she is she's a little demon lady and then we've got them you can barely see it but here they are cuddling because as much as she comes off as a cold stone butch woman she is very an emotionally vulnerable lady because uh, aren't all butches deeply emotionally vulnerable on the inside but yeah here they are i love them so much okay oh here's the freak shit um we've got some birds again in blue ballpoint pen and then we've got like this um this is based kind of off a piece i did earlier with is lesbian cannibal orgy um if youtube lets me say that i'm gonna hope youtube lets me say that but i was like and that piece had a bunch of intestines in it so i was like yeah but that but birds like some greek reference shit there was like that greek guy who had like his intestine or was like being eaten by birds or something I don't know. M mythology nerds, correct me in the comments. Um, and then, of course, next to it, we have the Hannibal recreation, um, but with lesbians, because I love the episode Wrath of the Lamb, and there's nothing anybody can do about it, so I had to draw it in here. Here's a page I love, but I am too scared to post anywhere because I do not want my parents calling in a wellness check on me because they have almost done that before. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, this font... I love, I hand lettered this font for a short film I did and I did like line boil with it and oh my god was it pain in the ass but oh it was so worth it because oh it just looks so good. Um, but yeah it's just ballpoint pen stuff and then using dogs as metaphors because they're, they're great vehicles of messaging. Um, I hope to like write a short piece of fiction that uses dogs as metaphors and analogies and that kind of stuff but I just have never gotten around to it and who knows when I'll get around to writing short fiction again. I hope I have time for it at some point. Here's my girl, here's some girls. Um, we've Please YouTube, please have mercy on me. This is cartoons, this is for art, this is for art, please. Um, just me practicing combining like cartoons and then like different body types. And then this one, was, which was just all brush pen, just playing around with, I don't know, draw cute girls, because why not? Another one of these pages where I tape shit in, I did not have stuff to draw with during class, so I drew um, on this piece of, uh, on two pieces of, like, lined paper that I glued together. So we've got, again, Carsey Hedrus lyrics that are applicable to all art majors, um, and then a bunch of characters and then some more on the back this Herbert West looking motherfucker and then another one of the sweet girls um, and yeah some more character stuff and then back to the concept art for this comic so this is really where the comic comes into its own um, I changed the plot I'm not gonna spoil it but it is becomes very much like they just enact revenge on those who have done them wrong and they go and live their lesbian life together like nothing ever happened and she is a devil but we're gonna ignore that because because why not um so i'm really excited to re illustrate and make this comic like the way i want it to be because it's just i love these two so much and i need to make something that serves them both justice more me as a weird dog lady um yeah i don't know i'm a furry what what are you gonna do about it um i don't know i really want some spiky wrist uh, some spiky wristlets uh or wristlets bracelets oh my god um uh because i really love my big spiky choker so yeah i don't know and then more of these two you see here she is in her like fire form because she turns into like a fire demon oh my god spoilers um don't worry you'll forget about it once the comic actually comes out um here's them being sweet some notes um them being together she is not as built as she's supposed to be this is like she's like millie in trigon 1998 she's like a refrigerator of a woman and you gotta love it um is a girl in a coat and then something my friend picked up off the floor and gave to me and was like 
this is for you. And I was like, okay. So I glued it in here. I, I like how this drawing turned out. Like these two spooning on the beach. That's actually grass with the sea coming up. I don't know. I think it turned out super sweet. Um, again, another thing I could either remake into something a little more polished or just make a print as it is. Some ideas for a thing I had to do for math class about circles. Um, and then, oh my God, I was walking to school one day and I saw this tiny, tiny chihuahua and a giant parka and he was so cute. I had to draw him. So here he is in all of his glory. He was just so happy to be there. It was so wonderful. A fish head because, I don't know, he's sad though. He's sad about his condition. I would be too, man. Um, and then we've got some sardines. This is a study from Pinterest because everything's a study from Pinterest. But I love these two and I think they would make really good prints. Again, I'm saying everything would make good prints, good stickers. Will I actually make them into prints and stickers? Who knows? Here they are again. So here's me just practicing drawing them, figuring out how they, these two are, relate to one another, how they look. I'm still changing and working on their designs. You see, she's a little more built here. Um, there's going to be a truck. Um, the original version of the comic doesn't have this truck in it, but the final version will um, because I want that. They go on a road trip across the country. Um, yeah, I don't know. They, they do some girl things and they go, they get their freedom and I love that for them. Yeah, I don't know. So just doodling some ideas. This, I don't know what the fuck is going on with her hair, but it's something, um, just a ballpoint pen page. And then, oh, the Mitski and the David Byrne. Oh, they're just, oh, the, that song gets me every time I listen to it. I'm like, oh my God, that movie, everything, everywhere, all at once. If you haven't seen it, jail, jail, because it's so good. You need to see it. You literally need to. I tried to make my parents watch it. They gave up halfway through. And then I moved to Oregon, so they didn't get to finish it. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. And then more car seat headrest. I love this girl. I love her glasses. Yeah, I don't know. And that's about it. That's it, yeah. Um, oh, we get a discount at our school at TV Pain, which, I, which is what that is. So yeah, and then a bunch of places near my school to get food. But yeah, that is it. Um, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you've stuck around through the whole thing, um, please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, if you enjoyed the video, it, it really means a lot to me to hear your guys' comments and feedbacks. Like, I love replying and reading all the comments. It's, y'all are so sweet. Um, but yeah, I hope to have another sketchbook tour out soon. I also have some videos from my film class from last semester that I hope to upload. Um, so keep an eye out for those as well. Um, and yeah, I don't know. Again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you again soon. All right. Goodbye.